Here I have a couple of items which you may also have at your home to make a quick, low-cost and effective lanyard to perform the tear and spin. A wire clothes hanger dowel, a shoelace, some parachute cord, or a Vapor for Life battery bag. First, let's start with the clothes hanger dowel. These are very common as most laundries use them with their wire hangers. Simply remove the dowel and either drill a hole or use a nail to drive a hole through it. Then using either parachute cord or a shoestring, simply thread it through the hole, tie it off. The inside diameter of the clothes hanger dowel will give a nice snug fit and hold the cartomizer in place. I actually have to make one for fishing for this year's season. So I'm going to make one with a little extra long cord. I like to wade in the rivers in my waders and like to go hands free. This actually works great when working in the yard or hunting. Uh, simply slide the battery in LED first and you can kind of drop it underneath your shirt or just hang it off your neck and then vape when needed. So we'll just take it and tie off the end. If you don't have a clothes hanger dowel, perhaps you have a Vapor for Life battery bag. To convert your battery bag into a lanyard to perform the tear and spin, simply remove the drawstrings, and the first thing you'll note is that there are two loops sewn into the top of the battery bag. Simply take a piece of shoestring or again parachute cord and loop it or insert it right through the loops then take your bag and about halfway up we're going to make a small vertical incision on one side of the bag Again, you want to do this right about halfway up, right where the crown, so to speak, of the Vapor for Life logo is, or Vapor King logo. Just that small incision, just big enough so that you can slide a cartomizer in there. Before I demonstrate the tear and spin with the lanyards, I would like to take a moment to discuss the rubber end caps that come with your cartomizers, otherwise known as condoms. Vapor for Life cartomizers use four different styles of condoms. A flat cap, a nubbed or small posted mouthpiece cap, a cone cap, and the most sought after cap by all juicers, the butt plug cap. Now sometimes the butt plug caps are a one piece unit. Other times they are comprised as a two piece unit where the butt plug is separate and combined with the flat cap. When refilling cartomizers with either the drip method or with a syringe it is best to use either a single butt plug cap or a combo two-piece butt plug cap. If you do not have a butt plug cap, but wish to perform the tear and spin to force the juice down into the base of the cartomizer, a cone cap will work to prevent juice from spilling out of the battery hole. To demonstrate the tear and spin, I will be using a brand new premium cool cardo blank. These blanks come with a butt plug, so they are ready to refill by simply removing the mouthpiece condom and the inner mouthpiece plug. These newer premium cool card blanks with the blue wire seem to have a tighter wrapping. Let's see if we can get a cop picture of that right there. Seem to have a tighter polyfill wrapping, which deters their absorbent qualities a little when using the drip refill method. So, let's go ahead and just put a few drops in here. 
I will be using some delicious Wow Newport juice today. So let's see if we can just get this in here. Always apply the juice to the outside housing of the cardo and just kind of let it run down and get absorbed. Now that's five drops, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Okay, so here we can see that the polyfill material is pretty saturated. Now we've got about 10 drops in there, but we want to force it down to the bottom of the cardamizer. So what we're going to do next is we're going to use our Vapor King battery lanyard. Now it's been my experience that even when the battery bag is loaded with the cardamizer, it's just simply too light to spin fast enough to properly generate centrifugal force needed to effectively compact or push the juice either into or out of a cardamizer. So to help this, I generally take five pennies and I slip them into the bag and line them up at the very bottom. It just gives it enough weight so that you can spin it fast enough and increase, you know, increase the rate of spin so you have greater centrifugal force. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cardamizer and I'm going to place it inside of the battery bag, battery end down because we're always going to try and force whatever, whether it's going in or out, will be on the very bottom. So in this case, we're forcing juice into it as long as we have a condom with a butt plug. And if you don't have a condom with a butt plug, then I would suggest using a cone condom. Uh, at least it will seal off the battery hole. So we'll just slide that into our lanyard as such. And we'll see if I can just raise this up a little bit. And we'll do some spinning. Yeah, flying solo on the camera today, so... <laughs> okay, so here we go. And now you can see that we've pushed the juice all the way down to the bottom. So let's go ahead and we'll just add a couple more drops in. Okay, and again, you can see that that's pretty well saturated. Of course, the difference we're looking for is to see from going from saturated to nice and white and fluffy again. So again, we're going to place the cardamizer inside of our lanyard. And we're going to give it another spin. Okay, and you can see how it's nice and white and dry. So let's go ahead and just top this off. We're right about 20, so. Okay, so here we go again. This time, let's use the other lanyard just to show how effective it is. Okay, so this is of course made with the dowel from the closet hanger. We're simply just going to put this in. 
And this will show you that this definitely holds a cartomizer even at a high rate of spin speed. Okay, okay. Alright, there we go. Now, I know we've used uh, one milliliter as our baseline. I can tell you from past experience, you can actually get a little bit more. You can probably, we'll just do it here. You know, you can probably get about 30 to 32 droplets into a cool cartomizer. I generally don't fill them all the way up that much. Um, you know, they don't need it. And, uh, you know, I think it's just better to run 7 eighths full than all the way full and possibly risk flooding. But we'll just give this a spin and we'll see where we're at. much like I thought. See, a little oversaturated on there. This next technique I like to refer to as the reverse tear and spin. This is used when we want to take juice or water out of a cartomizer. Um, comes in handy if you've refilled a cartomizer and taken a couple draws off it and discovered, oh no, this cartomizer's burnt. I really don't want to waste all this juice. Now I want to get it back out and at least put it in a fresh cartomizer. Or when you go to rinse out a cartomizer and to get it dried off so you can vape quicker. So I've just tossed an old watermelon cartomizer inside this glass of water. And we'll take that out and we'll just give this a spin. Really important thing, make sure that you dry off the cartomizer and make sure the, the condom that you're using is dry. This will prevent it from slipping off the end of the cap. So since we're going to be draining it, we're going to be putting the condom on the mouth piece side of the cartomizer, about a third of the way on, as you can see. We're going to go ahead and take our pennies and put them back inside of our VK battery bag lanyard, just to add the weight that we need. And we'll go ahead and we're going to slide this in condom in first. Real handy if you folks are out there in zero degree weather, really don't want to do this outdoors. Um, with this style of lanyard, if the weather's nice, I simply just place them on, don't put an end cap on it, step outdoors and give it a good spin or two, and uh, that generally will take all the water out of it. But uh, this is also, like I say, really good. If, I'm <clears throat> if I need to reuse the juice, then I put a cap on it with this lanyard, but this is just for draining water out, so let's go ahead and get a picture of that. Okay, let's see if we can look in there. You can see the water that's drained into there. We have covered the different types of Vapor for Life condoms and some of their uses. How to make an effective and low cost lanyard and how to perform both the tear and spin and the reverse tear and spin. As always, I have nothing but love for the coolest family on the ECF, my family at the Vapor for Life Forum. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video.